Across the kitchen, Karen is portioning 40 pieces of salmon for their main. Go on, Karen! <laughs> a lot of salmon, but I've never, ever worked with this size of salmon, and not so many. Salmon, lovely, with some Cajun rice, and guacamole on the side, great. But it needs some moisture, it needs a sauce. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pan fry them, yeah? Yeah, get the skin nice and crispy. Yeah. For the vegetarians, a stuffed pepper, lovely idea. There might be some cheese across the top, but it needs something else with it. When you're cooking for 120 people, the standard still has to be the same if you were cooking for, like, four people. So this is a whole new challenge altogether. It's the biggest whisk I've ever seen. I'll have pretty good arms after today. Teammate Karen's almost finished coating the 40 salmon fillets in Cajun spices, ready to be pan fried. Oh, I was born spicy. It won't be too spicy. It's not going to be too aggressive, you know, but it'd be something that people can handle. Man, woo. This is looking very nice, if I say so myself. Karen. Hello. How are you getting on? The fish is looking lovely yeah. and smelling great. Blackened? Yeah, our uh, blackened nice. spicy salmon. Yes, go um, on. Amazing. <laughs> Sam's labour-intensive chocolate mousse is ready to pipe into individual portions. So how confident are you these things are actually going to set? Um, ask me that in about half an hour. And what do you do if they don't? If they don't, it will be a luxurious chocolate... Drink. Yeah. But the blue team is yet to start both the vegetarian pepper to be stuffed with rice or the Cajun rice side. That was stressful. Rice goes in the vegetarian. Rice also goes with the fish. You don't get the rice out, get it out well, get it out on time. You ain't got two dishes. So the boys have already gone up. What, they've already gone up? Yeah. Ooh. Can I just say thank you all very much for your patience? It'll be here soon, but it's worth the wait. A couple of minutes only, I think. OK, thank you. All right, so you stick that in. Good? Very wow, good. Wow, look at that crowd. Hi, <laughs> That'll be scary, isn't it? Over 20 minutes late, the blue team is finally ready. They look hungry. They look hungry. They look hungry. You can tell. And they look ready. Yeah. Service with a smile. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, can I have the salmon and rice, please? Yeah, sure. Salmon? Salmon, please. Yeah. Karen and Sam's blackened spicy salmon with Cajun rice, salsa verde, and guacamole is also selling out fast. Bless you. Thank you very okay. much. Yeah, it was nice. The salmon was cooked well. The skin could have been a bit crispier, but the guacamole went really well with it. Fish was nice, a um, little bit spicy, really well cooked. And with the salsa verde, it was really, really tasty. So, really good. In terms of texture, it was good. And it was, it was very tasty. Spot on, spot on. The salmon is a little bit over. However, it's forgivable, I think. I really like the spice in the background of the rice. The salsa verde itself is lots and lots of mint and lots of coriander and rich with olive oil. The cold avocado against the hot salmon, I find a bit unusual. However, I think it's a great invention. I think they've done a brilliant job. That salsa verde is herby vibrant. I love the wet slippiness of the guacamole with lime in it. I think that's a good dish in big numbers. <laughs>